Thank you for a great explanation. <sighs> I guess we'll tell Greg thank you. Uh, when I checked U to V, he got seven ohms. When I checked U to W, he got seven ohms, but V to W, 0.9 ohms. Does this mm -hmm. mean compressor is bad? Yeah, as long as his got, meter is good. He's got some strange <laughs> error codes. And he's getting error code 83-16, 83-56 on a carrier heat pump. So he's using our inverter video to troubleshoot a carrier heat pump. Yep, that's uh, pretty cool. So I think you should probably just replace that carrier heat pump with a GREE. <laughs> However, if you don't want to do that, uh, yes, yeah, you've got a bad inverter compressor. Right? Everybody agree with that? Yeah, completely. I agree. But if you think they've got a bad inverter compressor, you can vote using the question mark icon. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely. So V, uh, let's see, U to V, uh, U to W, and V to W should all be equal. I mean, give yes. or take, we're talking like 0.1 ohms, right? Right. So he should have seven ohms on all three of them, but instead he's got 0.9 on one of those, which means that your windings are melted together, mm -hmm. reducing the overall resistance on that coil. Thanks for getting involved. If you need more answers, catch us live every month when we tackle your questions in real time. Head over to greecomfort.com forward slash greed training where you can register for the next Talking Comfort Live. See you there.